For the final question on the 7.1 and 7.2 quiz review, you're going to be multiplying some special cases. Remember that there are some formulas that you can use to multiply special cases, or you can always just use the box and FOIL method. Okay, the shortcut for the square of a binomial, that's if you have something squared, which means times itself. The formula for that is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. If you have the product of a sum and a difference, where everything's the same, but one has a plus sign in the middle and one has a minus sign in the middle, the shortcut for that is a squared minus b squared. The middle terms are going to cancel out when you have the product of a sum and a difference. So these two formulas you can use for special cases, but remember you can also use just box method or FOIL method. You'll get the same answer either way. So number eight is a matching question and there's three different problems that we're gonna solve. You can find the product using whichever method you prefer, the box method, the FOIL method, or those special formulas that we just talked about. Now, the first problem in the matching, 3x minus seven times 2x minus seven, that's not a special case because it's not a binomial squared, these aren't the same, and it's not the product of a sum and a difference. So for this one, you'd wanna just use the box method or the FOIL method. Um, either method, you'll get the same answer. I'm gonna set this one up with the box method. So I have 3x minus seven on one side of the box and 2x minus seven on the other side of the box. Now just multiply. The 3x times the 2x is 6x squared. In the next box, you have 2x times negative 7, which is negative 14x. Moving down to this box, we have negative 7 times 3x, which is negative 21x. And then finally, for our last box, we have a negative 7 times a negative 7, which is positive 49. To simplify this, we do need to combine the like terms. The like terms are right here. I'm gonna circle those up. We can put negative 14x with negative 21x. If you add that together, negative 14 plus negative 21 is negative 35. So our final answer would be 6x squared minus 35x plus 49. Find that from the options that you have down here. So it looks like that matches with this one right here. So you'll just drag and drop that answer into the first box there. Now for this next question, we have a binomial squared, 3x plus seven squared. Now you could certainly use FOIL or box. Remember three x plus seven squared just means three x plus seven times three x plus seven. So we could write it out twice and then we could use the box method or the FOIL method. You can also use the shortcut though. When you have a binomial squared, the shortcut formula is a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus two ab plus b squared. So if I put a in place of the 3x, that's 3x squared plus 2 times the a term, which is 3x, times the b term, which is 7, and then we have plus b squared. Well now, if you square that out, 3x squared, that means 3x times 3x. So make sure you square the number and the x, that's 9x squared. Then we have plus 2 times 3 times 7 is 42. So plus 42x, and then seven squared, that's seven times seven, which is 49. So your final answer would be nine x squared plus 42x plus 49, that's right here. So you drag and drop that up to the box. Remember though that you don't have to use the shortcut formula. You could certainly solve this question by just doing a box method or the FOIL method. Let me do this one with, um, the FOIL method. So if we FOIL this out, 3x plus 7 times 3x plus 7, remember FOIL is just kind of like distributing twice. 
3x times 3x is 9x squared. Then 3x times 7 is 21x. Moving to my insides, we have 7 times 3x, 21x. 7 times 7, 49. Now if you combine the like terms, 21x plus 21x is 42x. So you get the same answer either way. Use whichever method you prefer. If we did a box, you'd also get the same answer. For the last question here, we have a 3x plus 7 times a 3x minus 7. This is an example of a product of a sum and a difference. And our shortcut formula for that is a plus b times a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. Now our a term is 3x and our b term is 7. So if we go ahead and we sub those into the formula, we would get 3x squared minus, and then my b term is 7. Remember when you square 3x, that's 3x times 3x, so we have 9x squared. And then 7 times 7 is 49 with a minus sign in the middle. So your final answer would be 9x squared minus 49x. Find that from your choices. It looks like it's right here. So you'll drag and drop that up into the box. You could also have solved this question though using the box or the FOIL method. You don't need to use that special formula. I think most students just prefer to like always stick with box or foil. So for this one, if we were to solve it with a box, you would just set up the sides of your box like this. One of them's a 3x with a positive 7. One's a 3x with a negative 7. And then you just multiply the sides of your box. For the first one, 3x times 3x becomes 9x squared. For my next box, 3x times 7 is 21x. Moving down to this one, we have negative 7 times 3x, that's negative 21x, and then 7 times negative 7 is negative 49. Notice what happens here. See when we circle up the like terms, 21 plus negative 21 cancels out. So that leaves us with 9x squared minus 49.